There are three ants. They sit at the corners of an equilateral triangle. All ants pick an edge to walk randomly with equal probability and move along the edges at the same constant speed. What is the probability that any two ants collide? Note that the direction of movement of the ants are binary. Each of them will pick an edge that moves them in the anti-clockwise or clockwise direction. Since there are three ants, each with binary choices, this gives a total of eight possible setups, where each setup is a permutation of moves by the ants. And the probability of any one setup is the same, 1 over 8. The trick here is simple. Realize that there are only two outcomes when no collision occurs, when all three move in an anti-clockwise or clockwise direction. Hence, the probability of any two ants colliding is simply 1 minus the probability of having no collision. And since the probability of each of these setups are equal, the result is 6 over 8, or 75%. To those who were slightly stumped by the question, the trick is to realize that the sample space of such problems are often split into two events, by the law of total probability, the sum of the probabilities of these events is 1. Often in such questions, the probability of the event of interest is itself a sum of individual mutually exclusive events. In a hurry, we might be tempted to calculate these individual probabilities, especially when the dimension of the problem is small. In our case, we can consider the event of any two collisions being the red and blue end colliding, the blue and yellow, and so on. This method is not wrong, as shown here, but it becomes prohibitively tedious as the dimensions of the problem grows. A better way would be to leverage the binary nature of the sample space, and recognize that the probability of the event of interest can be found by simply subtracting the probability of the other event from 1. The probability of this other event is often much easier to calculate, with our answer often being the complement of this other event. Here's an easy question where many of you will recognize this perspective. If a fair die is rolled 4 times, what is the probability that 6 comes up at least once? So the event of interest, E1, is 6 turning up at least once, or rephrasing it, 6 turning up at least once, or twice, or thrice, up to 6 times. Instead of rushing to calculate the individual probabilities, just recognize that the logical complement event, 6 not turning up at all on any row, our probability of interest is then the complement of this event, 1 minus 5 over 6 raised to the power of 4, for 4 independent rows of a fair die not landing on 6, giving us 0 0.52, approximately. If you are looking for more topics to prepare for quad interviews, watch this next video.